In Dakar's main square, one of the few female candidates for the Senegalese presidency holds one of her final rallies. Amsatu Saosidibe, a law professor and human rights activist, has run a small but strong campaign. She's one of the 13 candidates hoping to unseat President Abdoulaye Wad. Another one of the incumbent president's challengers is Ibrahim Afal. He founded his own citizen movement to be able to run. The 70-year-old is an experienced politician, having served as education and foreign minister before joining the United Nations. He fears that the protests against Wad will escalate and wants the vote to be postponed. The conditions are not right. In these conditions, I believe that in order to keep the peace, we have to push back the vote. At 47, Sheikh Bambadiye is one of the youngest ever Senegalese presidential candidates. He's mayor of Saint Louis and candidate for the Socialism and Democracy Front. He centered his campaign on an anti wad platform. Something extraordinarily unjust is happening here. We want it to end, but we're being forced into a corner. What the Senegalese people want seems to be a problem. He has locked us into a totally wild system and we will have to pay the price. All the candidates are now entering the final straits of their campaigns. With so many contenders, they'll have to pull out all the stops if they hope to beat Wad at this weekend's vote.